Hi Aquarius, welcome back in. So this is going to be your bonus reading, right? As I promised. <clears throat> but anyways, <laughs> here you are, it's your reading. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is your bonus. Let's see what messages come through for you. You know, you can reverse the roles. You can switch the cases as you feel free, but don't force a reading on your situation. And um, second thing, this can be about anything, any current situation you're dealing with, any person you're dealing with, any person, specific person on your mind. Whatever messages come through, we're going to accept them, accept them that way, right? Aquarius, base chakra, what is wrong? You know, whenever I see chakra cards that talk about some sort of activity in that part of your body, base chakra is you, very private self. Not even your partner, not even your intimate partners, not even um, your parents, nobody. It's you, very private self. Obstacles and challenges. For some of you, I see you have to jump, you have to take a leap of faith, or you have to start something. Five of Wands energy, but can you see this person is at a point where, oh yeah, this person is at a point where they have to step over this blockage and move forward on this path. But the problem, the real obstacle is not this, this, you know, this distance or this gap. The real problem is the base chakra. Now, when you're, what happens when your base chakra is not properly energized or not uh, properly, I would say um, there's some sort of uh, blockage in this area. What happens is that base chakra connects to your real self. It talks about your real personality, your inner self, your confidence, uh, your security, your security in your own skin. Now, if you're feeling little insecure at the moment, something has happened, some uh, self-esteem issue has suddenly showed up, or maybe you in ch some childhood traumas were there and some incident took place and those childhood traumas came back, Something is triggering you here and that's very private to you. For a lot of you, you might not even be sharing this with anybody. That is that private. So focus, uh, focus on your base chakra when you're meditating. Put an intention that you're safe, you're secure, you're healthy and you're confident, right? You're confident. Small incident or a small situation, it just cannot define you, right? You're much bigger than that. So let's dive in. <laughs> let's dive in, Aquarius. Let's see what messages come through you. But yes, do focus on your base chakra. Okay, what Aquarius needs to know what's happening with Aquarius. Six of Swords, I see you guys are trying to move on from something. There is a new situation. There is a new hope in your life. And you might be dealing with somebody who's on a break. Sad energy, Aquarian energy like you. Overall, the situation is full of hope. Whatever you're moving on from, it's happening for good, Aquarius. If you're leaving a troubled situation behind, now this is very much in concurrence to what we have been picking up. I feel you guys have experienced something in the recent past, which was like a troubled water energy, right? The good times ahead, Six of Swords is taking you forward, but base chakra is talking about the blockage here. So star is the healing energy, focus on meditation, a lot of beautiful positive energy is going to be coming in and universe has your back it's going to heal you can you see this angel for some of you i see uh, there is somebody who is a healer now this is very interesting why i'm saying that there is a person in your surroundings for a lot of you might not be talking to this person as of now because i see some challenges here you're moving on from a very difficult situation in your life that has somehow brought back some child traumas or some past memories which you're trying to move on from, right? Which have triggered you in some way. And this temperance is showing me that this person is your healer. This angel is showing me that uh, you know who you have to go to in order to feel secure and happy. There is a specific person with whom you feel secure, you feel safe. I'm not trying to put a lot of uh, attention on that person. That can be anybody, definitely a soulmate. But this person has a very healing impact on you. You remember from the past that when you are across uh, around this person, this person somehow brings the positive side out of you, right? <clears throat> so let's let's move forward. Yeah, I see that uh, for a lot of you, you are avoiding communication. You're avoiding uh, messages from a lot of people. For some of you, if you're moving on from some specific person, this person is going to be reaching out to you. They're trying to contact you, but I see you turning away from them. 
eight of wands whatever communication is coming your way you're not looking in that direction rather i feel that you're trying to look up to something new what else oh boy aquarius this person has um strong feelings for you two of cups there's love there's attachment that there, there are deep emotions they might uh for a lot of you i'm picking up that you might have turned a back on this person in past because of some reasons we're going to clarify what's that but the connection is very strong um this person can be a past soulmate who has a very healing impact on you right and the love is very strong i do see that this person has some things going on in their life if you were on a break with this person or there was some sort of distance communication gap with them i see they have a lot behind the scenes a lot seven of swords they have a lot of secrets and uh, they have been creating karma somewhere <laughs> Yeah, but I think um, they want to talk to you too. Three of Pentacles, yes. They want to work this out with you too. Page of Swords. Now, the thing is that you both are watching. I, I don't really see you both because this person is on a break. They're distant. They're healing. They're focused on other things. Yeah, they love you, but um, they're focused on other things as, as of now. But Page of Swords is showing me that you're very skeptical and guarded about your past. And you might be you know looking for the right time to talk to this person page of swords is uh, that energy where uh, you spy you check the social media you see whether they're still single or not or whether they're available or not you know that this person has feelings for you yeah a lot of cards flipped over let me just let me just put them back in place give me a second okay see see ace of cups so there is some situation here that is brewing up, but right now you're more guarded and skeptical. You're more in the, uh, I'm picking up you're more in the lazy zone, turned away, avoiding much talking with people, maybe not just with this person in general, avoiding conversations. Page of Swords is uh, checking their social media, uh, you know, when they're online, when they're posting something. <laughs> maybe some ego is not allowing you to talk to this person again. This person thinks about you, Aquarius. This person thinks about you a lot. But for a lot of you, I see you have a feeling that you don't want to think it through. For a lot of you, you're trying to avoid what you, what you have with them. Or you just want to be carefree. You don't want to care for this situation much. I do see that you tried taking a leap of faith in your life. Or you are thinking of taking a leap of faith in this up upcoming week, in, in the upcoming days. There's going to be a thought of taking a leap of faith in your life. And if you're taking a leap of faith away from somebody, somebody's freaked out. If you're dealing with a specific person and you're taking a leap of faith away from this person, somebody's freaked out. Page of Pentacles. For someone, I'm picking up that you're going to take your time. And uh, you'll feel that, okay, I need to... I don't know whether I should be talking to this person, whether I should be connecting back to this person or not. You, you have your doubts. You're checking the social media and yet you're like, okay, I don't want, I don't know whether I should or not. And um, this person definitely thinks about you a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Nine of Swords, they sometimes have sleepless nights also. And you don't want to care much. Fool shows me that uh, there is an energy that, okay, I want to talk to you. I want to be with you, but I don't want to be thinking too much. Maybe this has some sort of um, something to do with what you've experienced recently. You don't want a connection as of now or you don't. You're just moving away from something tough in your life. And then communication takes place. See, uh, we have Queen of Swords, bottom of the deck can be your energy or... But I see a very tangible conversation happening between you and somebody very soon. Very, very soon. Tangible conversation. So what we're going to see here, Aquarius. First of all, I want to say what I want to see what are you moving on from? Page of Fawns, okay. Uh somebody I see there was a short-lived situation, Page of Fawns. Somebody was not serious, they were here for fun or they were just, you know, naive, younger energy, possibly younger fire sign. This person was more like fun and you had something serious on your mind. Maybe that's something impacting you. Maybe some of, I feel that you have some bad memories of being, being played or, you know, yeah, very non-committal, naive energy. What about this person? 
uh, yeah, they both have turned a back on each other. For a lot of years, yeah, this person turned a back on you too. They have some new ships coming in. They have some. They have a lot of new things showing up in their life too. And uh, Ace of Wands is a reverse position for some of you. There are new inspirations and new things, but nothing is as if nothing is um, working out that way. You know, so maybe they are just dodging a lot of things to come back to you or they have this thought on their mind. This person, for some of you, I'm picking up, this is some past soulmate connection. You have some deep attachment for this person, but you feel lost. Whether I should be connecting to this person or not. For a lot of you, I see there's some sort of history here. There's, there's some sort of history here, um, Aquarius. Oh yeah, you have to make a choice. You know this is a very strong pull, very strong divine energy. Ace of Swords, Truth coming out. Uh, for some of you, I'm picking up Aquarius that um, things are forbidden fruit. Like you know that um, this connection is going to come into your life with a lot of... Uh, like you, I'm picking up pros and cons. You have a strong attachment with this person. This person is like your healer. But then there are there is a forbidden fruit I'm picking up that, uh, I don't know whether this is going to be the right thing to do or not. Because I see you have some history of love-hate, of um, good and bad. I don't know, a lot of things. Six of Wands, World and Three of Swords, yes. You need to figure out how to end past cycles here, Aquarius. Now, I would tell you here that, um, yeah, there's Aquarian energy here again. You are talking, possibly talking to this person or you might think of talking to this person again because you know that this person is your healer or this person somehow heals you. But do you have feelings for this person? That's the question here. Because for some of you, I'm picking up, there is a connection there is a person who has your heart and uh, there is an energy of whether to take a leap of faith towards that person or not, whether to go by your attraction or your feelings or not. And uh, this person is getting the truth that you might be moving on from them or you want to talk to them, but you don't have those feelings for them. So whatever truth comes out here, that's going to be a nightmare for this person, right? And you're realizing that I need to tell something concrete to this person. I need to give them an answer. I cannot do this to this person. And Six of Wands is showing me that you're successfully dodging the situation. For someone specific, I'm picking up that this person was a rebound or this is just an energy. This is somebody who makes you feel safe and happy, like a healer. But when it comes to commitment or settlement or love, I see it's not something that you want. World with the Three of Swords, the situation, for a lot of you I see there's an ending taking place here. And possibly you are um, doing that, you, you know, you are doing this because you're moving on from something in your life and it has nothing to do with this person maybe, but there are a lot of emotions. Alright, very heavy, very heavy. Moving on, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What else we can have for Aquarius here? Keeping secrets and lie here. You have your own set of, you know, um, <laughs> secrets. And um, for a lot of you, I'm feeling that avoid giving somebody false hope or somebody... Mm, I'm just feeling that you don't have that intent or... There's something very solid in your life. Some very strong attraction, some very strong connection. This person is expecting a restart or revival with you. And they might get a clarity that this is not happening and this is going to break their heart. Happy alone, yeah. For a lot of you, I see um, for someone specific I'm picking up that uh, you never told somebody about your history or your past or something in your life. And now when this person expect is expecting... A fresh beginning with you or they're waiting on to you there has been some sort of break between you and them and they're expecting your call and messages you are trying to dodge it that's something i'm picking up apology yeah you're trying to dodge something anyways what else 
Aquarius. Emotional freedom. All the cards are talking the same way. Different cards, same meaning. Happy alone, emotional freedom. I, I see that you know that this is not what you want. You're taking the leap of faith towards something which is strong. Now, when I say forbidden fruit, this is the energy where you know that there is a connection which has its own pros and cons. Yes, this connection is strong. There's love, there's attachment, there's attraction. Maybe the sex is good. That's also something I'm picking up. But then <clears throat> it has its own cons. But you are somehow deciding that you want to take a leap of faith towards it. Abundance. And once you do that, here comes the abundance, right? So for a lot of you, I see you guys are leveling up for a decision. And if you were somehow... I shouldn't be saying that, but I just I just had a feeling that you might be simply just leaving somebody on. So that's not a good thing. And you're realizing it and you might apologize to somebody for that. See, past affairs, unresolved, unresolved situations. So whatever that was, I, I see it's getting over. And you're moving towards your abundance. Yes. Wow. So I'm going to leave you here, Aquarius. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Bye.